Humans have been using rocks as tools for ages. But did you know you can use a rock to clean? This is a pumice stone. Now this little lava rock rocks when it comes to cleaning. Take for instance, those hard to clean toilet rings. You've tried a million cleaners, you've scrubbed day and night, and it still won't go away. Grab yourself a pumice stone, gently scrub the ring, and it will completely disappear. You can even use these on baked on grease on your oven racks or your oven, and it will help clean that up real easy. The only thing I like to mention is always use them wet, never scrub with them dry, otherwise they could scratch. Another cool thing about pumice stones is you can even use them to remove pet hair. This is my dog Ladybird's favorite place to take a nap. And as you can see, her hair is everywhere on this chair. So I grab a pumice stone and it easily lifts it and pulls it out of the fibers. You can even use these on carpets and rugs too. But what if you don't have a pumice stone and you still need to remove some pet hair? Well, let me introduce you to the Pet Hair Remover 5000. Now I know what you may be thinking. Brandon, that's just a spatula and <laughs> You're right, it is literally a rubber spatula, but let me show you how well it works. So as you can see, the spatula works great at removing pet hair, but I might know what some of you are thinking. I will never use a kitchen tool to remove pet hair, and I totally feel you. So if you're looking for a dedicated tool, I might suggest the Lily brush. I use this all the time. It fits in your pocket, and it's the same idea as the spatula, rubber all along the edges to remove and pull out all that embedded pet hair. So now that we have the pet hair under control, let's talk about something stinky. Being a professional cleaner, cleaning hundreds of couches, I've smelt them all folks. And a lot of times it's our pets. But what I suggest to start with is cleaning the entire sofa first. I have a full step-by-step -step video right here, check that out. But if you do that and there's still a lingering odor, that's where one of my favorite things, vinegar, comes in handy. Now vinegar is a great deodorizer but it does kind of stink, right? And you might be thinking, Brandon, I don't want my house smelling like a jar of pickles, and I totally understand that. But when you use vinegar and it dries, the smell completely dissipates and you won't notice it whatsoever. So to do this, what I suggest is mist the cushion with some white vinegar, place it in a garbage bag, and then use a vacuum cleaner to suck all the air out. Now what this is gonna do is force the deodorizer vinegar into the cushion so it can neutralize those stinky odors. Let it set in the bag, nice and vacuum sealed for about five to eight hours, depending on how stinky it is. Once that's done, take it out, throw it in the sun, let it dry for a while, and no more stinky odor, no more smelly couch. So I love cleaning tips that are quick, easy, and mess-free. And this last one comes from my grandma. She taught me this many years ago. It's to dust your fan blades with a pillowcase. Place it over the fan blade, wrap around tight, and pull back slowly, ensuring all the dust stays inside. This is a mess-free way to clean your fan blades. And then once you got all the dust inside your actual pillowcase, take it outside, give it a shake, and you're good to go. So I can, <laughs> so as you can, <laughs> I was trying to do a spin. I'm gonna absolutely hit my hand on this. I'm shooting. 